Joining us in the studio, a man who's been around the world making hand sanitizers and a host of other products. His name is Tim O'Connor. Welcome, Tim. Thanks, George. Um, Britain, United States, and Australia. And these days, you're in, of all places, beautiful Ballarat. Absolutely, yeah. Wow. What a <laughs> big, journey. Big change. Yeah. Okay, so let's take us back to the beginning of the source, the days when it first started, the Tim O'Connor story. Let's do the origin story. Where did it all begin for you? And where did Elliptal, the, this wonderful company that uh, you run and uh, have, have been doing some wonderful things with, protecting your health, skin, and our planet. Where did the idea come from? Well, well it started, I had a little baby girl and we went to the hospital. So the hand sanitizers in there, I thought, God, it's gotta be, if it's in the hospital, it's good enough for us. Yep. It's good enough for my daughter. Hospital my beautiful, grade, my, you hear the expression all the time. Hospital, hospital grade, so my beautiful daughter's gotta have the best. <laughs> right? Of course. So, so I got buckets of this stuff. I won't say the brand, but I got buckets of it. And after investigation, you start to realize what all these, all these chemicals are in these products. You thought I can do so, it better than this, eh? So I thought, and then across my desk came this idea of eucalyptus oil and alcohol. So we did some investigation, did some research, and we found that a lot of competitive products had isopropyl and alcohol, mm -hmm. petroleum-based yes, denaturants. Yes, very much so. Uh, chlorhexidine, um, toxic chemicals. Um, what do they say? You can, get away, you, you can get away from people, but you can't get away from chemicals. Correct. Um, I so had a father as an automotive engineer, and uh, Solvol and all the other oh, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. products that we used to have in the service stations that Dad had, and, and he was precise and particular. And you'd see uh, uh, people struggling with dermatitis right. because of all the chemicals that are in their hands. Absolutely. And so you saw it early on, and you well, thought, I saw it early we on. can do better. I could, I could do better. We, we had this, oh, there, there, there was a problem in that, of course, yeah. but we were determined to try and bring out a product that was natural, mm -hmm. promoted skin health, sure. used really good natural ingredients, but at the same time gave you a really good efficacy. Okay. So most sanitizers claim 99.9%, .9 doesn't do much. Right. Antibacterial, just kills bacteria, doesn't mm -hmm. kill viruses, fungi. So we started doing tests on the products that we created. So I created the hand sanitizer with a percentage of eucalyptus oil in it, the spray or what's called the rub in the healthcare market. And we got tests. This is the product that the you're product. talking about at the moment, or just one part of it. One, one part of small, it. very good sample, very easy to use. And I notice you, you can't you can't lose it. It's on your belt. No, well, see, that's a, that, that's another point. Is we designed the bottles with a high neck, so you put a carabiner clip under the cap, it doesn't come off. Fantastic. So you can have very it. easy to use. No mucking oh, around. No, 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 no. I can see this. We've got uh, family members who are a farm. Yeah. So this is ideal. Absolutely. Carry it everywhere. Absolutely. Can't lose it. Absolutely. And of course, um, I have a wife who understands what fashion right. and, uh, and uh, accessibility and portability is all about. You've got these uh, gift packs and they, they come with a, a cradle of goodies. Absolutely. Well, you, you know who came up with that idea? No, your daughter. My, my daughter and my wife because <laughs> she would reach in the back of the car yes, going constantly. through that bag that was as deep as the Grand Canyon and trying to find the sanitizer, and she'd find a little trouble kit and she'd pick it up. Haven't you heard about fashion? <laughs> they, they, big bags allow people to put the world in them. Absolutely. Uh, so let's get back to this product. We've talked about the dangers um, of hand sanitizers or the, the challenges the chemicals, that you yeah. saw early, early on. Um, I didn't realize they contained toxins until we started reading up no, and no finding out. No one does. So what did you do? What was, what was the attack that you took? That you, saw, you thought, that's not good enough. We can do much, much better. Well, we initially went to the health, the, the hospital market. So yep. in the hospital market in America, they have what's called hospital associated infections. Okay, so and you had to prove to the FDA that you knew what you were re doing. Re registered under the FDA. But what was happening is we're finding doctors and nurses, healthcare, if they use these chemicals 80 times a shift, 120 times a shift, their hands would get dry. Correct the layers of toxic chemicals, the, sorry, the toxic chemicals would go through those skin layers and start dem dem damaging the membrane layer. And once that membrane layer is damaged, you start seeing dryness, redness, 
contact dermatitis. So what the doctors and nurses uh, would do is not wash their hands properly because if they did, they would suffer all these. Correct. Hospital associated infections would be caused because the healthcare worker didn't wash their hands correctly, carried the germs to a patient, the patient would go out in a coffin. I'm exaggerating. Major, major I'm ex challenge. I'm exaggerating. No, 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 but that, that's the so, line. Yep. So, so hospital associated infections, I think, were 100,000 a year wow. dying people in hospitals. That's reached epidemic proportions. So we started looking at ways of trying to convince the healthcare sector, the hospital market initially, yep. to use a natural based product, which was a huge challenge. You know, you've got these big Goliath companies yep. that have been doing this for years. Yep. And then along and comes of course a little, locked in with contracts. Locked in with contracts. Yeah, 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 yeah. And along comes this little tiny company from Victoria trying to challenge all these big, big did that, companies. Did that uh, challenge them as well, having an outside company from uh, another part of the world? Uh, they, they probably thought to themselves, what do you guys know about uh, cleanliness that, and didn't, sanitation? Didn't care. No. Wow. But when COVID came, uh, we, we got the tender for the Victorian uh, government hospitals, uh, 66 hospitals. Yes. And the hospitals are now starting to use our product and now there's a change. So the big companies are going, well, hang on a minute. We need to change our product. We need to change our ingredients because okay. we've been promoting these products for years Mm. with these chemicals, can you really you know, tell whether the chemical is destroying the skin or, well, yes and no, mm -hmm. sort of vague. Mm -hmm. um, but we've, we've pushed some of these big corporates to stand up and go, okay, we need to produce better products. So, so we're ahead of the game on that. Okay, that's fantastic. So the big challenges that were also uh, absorbed by some of the big companies, uh, Costco came on board and called for you and said, we use your product. That must have been enormously uh, satisfying at that oh, time. Oh, fantastic. Absolutely yeah? fantastic, yeah. Um, Costco Target took our wipes nationwide, 1,800 stores uh, in America. So it's wipes, it's hand sanitizer. We've got, we got, we got a universal bracket. We're the first company in Victoria and first company in Australia. Yep. In fact, not probably globally that's actually produced a bracket for other competitive products to be to use our bracket so we've got a universal bracket for healthcare workers yeah health, health uh, hospitals so okay you've now you've returned back to australia from uh, your time in america you spent yep. uh, quite a deal of time in the states yep. um, you really enjoyed uh, a great deal of success in new york as well businessman of the year congratulations thank you very much that must be enormous enormously satisfying on one level but you've come home yeah. And uh, what's the challenge been here in the last few months? They, uh, they know your product, but they, they, they're not, they're not give, getting the coverage that you, you deserve, I think. No, it's a, cha it's, a, it's a change, a big change from New York and Los Angeles to oh. come back to Ballarat. You're having um, to reinvent yourselves again? Yes, absolutely. Oh, um, my goodness. But, yeah, it's a, it's a big change. Um, let's talk about uh, the sale of these products in Australia. Um, has uh, you've got the TGA approved product here? TGA yeah. registered. We yeah, got a, got TGA, TGA registered. registered okay. FDA registered. Yeah. Uh, so when will it be t uh, TGA approved? We can't get the the products the are not approved for an OTC. They're okay. registered. Oh, they're registered. Okay. Registered, but it's 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 a small point, I suppose. All right. Um, we're registered under TGA. We've all our products are registered. Yep. Um, we're registered in America. Uh, under the FDA, yep. um, 99.9999% log six kill, which is a phenomenal kill for a product, uh, the hand sanitizer product. Um, uh, soon to be registered uh, across the globe in certain areas. Certain That's countries. exciting. So That's really is. exciting. So. Um, what is the science behind your hand sanitizer that makes it different from the others? So we use pure ethanol alcohol from sugar cane or corn. Yep. Natural alcohol. Yep. We denatured with a pure essential oil, which is eucalyptus oil, which is absolutely marvellous oil. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the denaturant. The ethanol alcohol does the kill. Right. So it does the kill of viruses, fungi, bacteria. The eucalyptus oil will seep through those layers of skin. And if there is a damaged membrane layer, it triggers the brain to produce ceramide, which is a natural healing agent. Okay. Like a receptor. So the eucalyptus, the eucalyptus is the healing agent, so to speak, or the alerter. The alert, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it also triggers dopamine. Okay. So you know, when you go to saunas and spas, yes. you go, that was a fantastic sauna. <laughs> well, you're sucking in all these eucalyptus fumes. Correct, correct. Well done. So. Um, 
I see you also have had uh, a tremendous opportunity over the years to link up with a number of major organisations that do some tremendous work, and one of those happens to be Wild Ark. Yes. Now yes. tell me about that relationship, how did it come about, and uh, what does it mean for you? What does it mean for Elliptal? To have uh, well, it's, look, it's an organisation like Wild Art on board as well. Wild Art is a fantastic organisation. We went, we went to a number of organisations to look at what they were doing. Mm -hmm. uh, but one of the things we want to do is we're an Australian company. The koalas need help. Yes. Um, and if I can just sidetrack a minute, people think we use the eucalypt soil from the eucalyptus trees. We Not don't. We use them from shrubs, farm them from shrubs. Um, but we wanted to help something, and we thought the koalas were good. A good way to start. Wild Ark have just purchased a huge property in outside Byron Bay All right. for supporting and helping the koalas. Yep. Um, I spoke to the founder of Wild Ark, uh, I thought he was fantastic, we got on very well. He had the same idea as I did um, in, in promoting you know, not just a product from a natural point of view but also supporting the environment and that's how we got together. Uh, Tim O'Connor, are we seeing more and more of the Australian uh, companies like Coles, like Woolworths and others picking up Liptal and, and putting it on their stores? Uh, Priceline and Chemist Warehouse. We're in okay. Chemist Warehouse. Okay. Um, not okay. at the moment, but yep. we were. Yep. Um, there was a massive rush last year to purchase sanitizers. Yeah, it was called the panic, the it was pandemic. Pan yeah, it was pandemic, pandemic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they bought a lot of stuff from China. A lot of groups uh, bought a lot of sanitizer from China which is not regulated and I've just written an article recently about the regulation that the government should put in place on you telling me this, Hang on a second, are you telling me that through COVID we, we went and rushed and, and did all of this uh, to, to shore up our defences and they're not regulated? So they, no. can, they can put anything in there? You can, you can put anything in that sanitizer bottle, put... Uh, and put the word sanitizer outside your own okay. And you know, gin companies, vodka companies are now making sanitizers. My so, goodness. So we need the government to sort of step up and regulate okay. it. And that's what we have tried to do, right. is when we say we kill 99.9999%, we've got all the scientific evidence to prove that. Other companies are claiming all these things, mm. antibacterial, not antimicrobial, not regulated under TGA, and who knows what's in them. Um, the sooner that. the better. Um, uh, now, what's next for Elliptal? What uh, is on the horizon? Yeah, we've got some products, new products coming out. We've got uh, hand sanitizer stations. Um, hand sanitizer stations? Where you put your hand in the machine. Okay. We would have so, seen those in supermarkets. Now, we've got those. Does that also mean that we're likely to see more Elliptal turning up at the MCG perhaps? I hope so. With a new I AFL hope. season? I hope they're listening. Ah. Yes. Well, there you go. Absolutely. Gil McLaughlin, if you're listening, make sure you see Tim O'Connor um, <laughs> from Elliptal. Uh, but quite seriously, uh, those, those stations have become almost de rigueur wherever yes. we go. Yes. So are you going to get a chance to have part of the action in that, uh, in that space? We were doing it at the moment. Yep. Um, brand awareness is probably very important for us. Got it. Uh, got the great product. We need to get our brand out better. Yep. Um, but yes, we've got sanitizer stations coming out, wall brackets, bed brackets. Well done. Um, yeah, so Not, you're covering every, every part of the covering, house. Covering, we've got soaps coming out. Tell me something, uh, what about business? Uh, have they understood that uh, you're back in this space and you've got uh, a special product and it's worth putting into their, into their uh, uh, not only their uh, offices, but also in their, in their warehouses and uh, stores? Well, it's, it's, it's big in Australia, but it's even bigger in America because of litigation. So all these corporates now have to make sure that they're COVID compliant right, and making sure that their staff are looked after so they don't get sick while they're in the office. Okay. So yes, it's a big opportunity for us, but a very important thing for, for business. Are you getting a fair hearing from government? Yeah, government's been fantastic. I have to say that Australia has got to be number one in the world on, on battling COVID compared to what I've been witnessing in America and having yes, just yes. come back. Um, Did you think it was because of our attitude here and the ability to be prompt and agile and make the necessary changes and uh, the lockdowns when it was demanded. Uh, whereas in America and in Britain, um, they were loath to close yes. anything. They were loath to you know, basically push people. Americans, notorious for uh, wanting to be free of, of everything. Absolutely. Uh, you can't tell them to do anything. Um, so I would have thought, did that play into the hands and make it, and make it harder for government in America? I think so, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Constitution of the United States. 
Yes, I, I don't have to wear a mask. Oh dear. So, so yes, so I think Australia's done a fantastic job. Well, Tim O'Connor, uh, continue doing what you're doing. Keep Thanks, changing Jordan. the marketplace and keep raising the bar. The products are Liptal. Tim O'Connor, the man. And uh, let's see if we can get you at the MCG. Thanks, George. Be terrific. Thanks. Thank you very much.